The idea of people knowing the truth, nobody likes to do that. It is, it is not in our world. In the rock world, you see it all the time. In our world, it doesn't exist. And it should, really. It started out just me and a bunch of friends throwing a party in somewhere we used to smoke weed. I think the first one we did there was probably around 50 people there. Then it just kind of grew really quickly into something really big. Knock on the door, it's police, police dogs. My parents didn't even know I smoked weed or did anything at this stage. So to then have the police come around and say, your son is in, is in uh, a cell under suspicion of drug dealing was probably quite a shock. I had foot marks all over my face, broken nose, um, fractured ribs, broken arm. Uh, it was pretty severe. I mean, I had stick marks on me. I don't think I've ever really seen a DJ stick at it and work that hard consistently for so long. I don't even know why I carried on because it certainly wasn't working for the amount of effort that I was putting in. Hearing him play at Mambo, playing Sunset, playing his 12-hour sets at Mambo and the trained you as a DJ. Steve's come out of that role better than anybody. He was a natural. Just a natural, you know, there was one to do that, but there's no going back. The press just took a huge interest, which, for me, was, was insane. Steve was slowly but surely was, was climbing the ranks of DJs to become someone that people really wanted to come and hear and see. It must be difficult when you've worked so hard and then you achieve such a claim keep your feet on the ground. It's not an easy thing to say. He's like, you know, I think at one point in my life I was a bit of a twat. I decided to play how I wanted to play in bigger stages, and it wasn't going down very well. He would definitely have sacrificed a good chunk of that money to play the music he wanted to play in the fashion that he wanted to play. You, only if you really feel it can you really deliver it. And now I can do that on a much bigger scale and actually show more people the music that I believe in. We can all be very proud now that DJs are, I think, accepted shoulder to shoulder with rock stars.